and animation have been working together on our first ever collaboration with Cirque du Soleil to create an all new show inspired by Disney animation. And today, you're all going to get a first look at what we've been creating. Now, many of you are familiar with the ways our live entertainment team has partnered with animation in the past to bring uh, characters and stories to life through spectaculars, parades, and stage shows at Disney parks across the world. And when given the opportunity to collaborate with an entertainment industry world leader such as Cirque du Soleil, well, we jumped at the chance. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about how this project began? Absolutely, David. This is destiny. You know the line of Gemini Briquette, when you wish upon a star? You know that line? Well, three years ago, a friend of mine gave me a book. It was a biography of Walt Disney. And I read it, and I loved it, and I made one wish that one day we would create at Cirque du Soleil a show about the art of animation. Now, just a few days later, our friends at Disney called us and said, would you like to create a show, uh, a new show in Orlando, and could you integrate Disney characters? That sounds so like yes. <laughs> sounds like perfect timing. Um, you know, I found that some of our Disney's most compelling, uh, Disney's most compelling experiences come together when we explore combining different art forms. So how did you think about blending Cirque du Soleil's incredible tradition of acrobatic storytelling with Disney animation? We started, as we always do, with research. So we wanted to understand the process of animation and feel it, and to understand also why an image of, let's say, 1928 can still be alive and literally eternal. And we visited, we visited parks, Disney parks, like you guys, right? The Walt Disney Family Museum, it's amazing. And the Disney archives, and of course the Disney Animation Studio, where we got to work directly with animators. And when we met Eric, we were immediately inspired by the way he works. You make me blush. <laughs> you know, it really sounds like you completely immersed yourself in Disney and our animation, and I know this is going to be completely reflected in the final production. Uh, Eric, it must have been a really interesting first meeting. What has it been like being part of this project? It has been an absolutely wonderful, extraordinary collaboration. Uh, first of all, We've had several meetings with the CERT team, uh, with our animator trust, if you will, kind of the people at the studio who know the most about the legacy. And we got to suggest certain Disney iconic moments uh, that will help them tell their story. We're also creating brand new animation sequences for the show, and get this, the animated characters will interact with the live performers. So, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm a complete geek, so if, if anyone says, hey, let's animate Baloo, or how about the genie, I'm there, pencil sharpened. <laughs> Imagine, we got to sit for hours with Eric, and we'd watch him work and create, and it was amazing to see that moment when the life happens in the drawings, it's just like in an acrobat's body, the powerful life. And it made us realize that animation is physical, is very visceral. It's amazing. Uh, Eric, what did you enjoy most about working with Cirque du Soleil? I admire how the team really came to us and, and tried to understand what we do, how we do it, and really what makes Disney animation special and unique. They also took the time to get to know us personally, and I hope that was a positive influence on the show. <laughs> Very much so. We looked at animators like performers, the way they perform, the way they, they, they create, like if they were acrobats. I say acrobats, but sometimes they act like clowns. Anybody you have in mind in particular? Uh, let me think about it. Yeah. Um, 
as our D23 audience knows, another integral part of live shows and spectaculars is the role of music plays. And this show is absolutely no exception. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely, David. The Disney music is very dear to all of us, right? It's inside our hearts. So what we're doing this time, for the first time, our composer, Benoit Jutra, is composing a brand new original Cirque du Soleil music that integrates Disney themes and melodies. So it will trigger the memories in our hearts and it will make a very strong connection with the audience. Absolutely, I, I can tell you from the selections I've heard so far, the music is going to be incredible, really extraordinary. Um, Michelle, can you share just a little something about the story? Um, yes, well, since we're just the 7,000 of us, uh, <laughs> it's so exciting. We came up with a story where the Disney characters are central to the life of a young girl and her father, who was a Disney animator. And he raised her with those characters. And at the beginning of the show, what I can say is that he finds a way to send her on a magical journey of self-discovery in the world of animation. That's all I can say. Okay. And I have to say, this is a very personal project for me. Uh, so much of what Michelle and the team developed resonates with me. My wife Susan and I raised two daughters with animation and art in the household. You know, so it's very near and dear to me and I get a little fucked just thinking about it. <laughs> well, I think we should leave it there. Thank okay. you, Eric, thank you, Michelle, and thank you to all the incredible folks who are making this show a reality.